<laughs> Ephesians chapter number four. We're going to start reading in verse number seventeen. It's my and it says this, in verse number 17 of Ephesians chapter 4. For the Lord's authority, I say this, live no longer as Gentiles, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness, they walk far from the life God gives, because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against Him. They have, they have no sense of shame. They live their lustful pleasures <laughs> and, and eagerly produce every kind of impurity. <laughs> but this is what you've learned about Christ since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him. Throw off, Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, being created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. God, we thank you. God, that you brought us here. We thank you for our fathers. God, I just pray right now, Father God, that you would anoint me, anoint my lips. To talk about the subject of living in your life. That's right. God, I'm praying that you might invite them on us this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. As we look at the scripture this morning, we're going to focus on the difference between the darkness and the light. We see that it all illustrates the difference between darkness and light. Jesus illustrates the hidden. And, and, and between darkness and light to illustrate the difference between those who are unsaved and those who are saved, are saved between those who know Jesus and those who do not. And in Ephesians, and in Ephesians 4, the apostle gives us a very detailed description of what it means to live in the light. So as we look at the scripture this morning, I, I want to ask you the question, and I want you to ask yourself this question, am I living in the light? In the light? Am I, Am I living in the light? So as we look at our scripture this morning, we see in verse number 17, the first thing the apostle says is, Live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Has anybody ever been confused in your life? Sometimes I look at situations and I go, how did we end up here? Mm-hmm. And then I love, and I love this translation where it says they are hopelessly confused. Because how many has ever looked at something and said, I need somebody else to figure this out because I just don't understand it. I know the first time I learned a wiring diagram, I looked at that and said, what are all, what are all these numbers and letters? And that this makes no sense to me. I don't, know, I don't understand how this, this equals that. And that tells me that this, and this translates to this. And, and somehow this, this blueprint is going to end up and it's going to look like that. I have no concept. I, I, I was confused to what I was looking at until somebody sat down and explained it to me. Until somebody said, well, this line means this. And oftentimes when you look at these things, you look at a set of blueprints, they have 